Hello everyone, we will start with the first part. We will go for file handling, which is on presentation server. Means we will go for a file or we will take a file on our desktop and we will read the data from that particular file. This will be our first topic. We will go for file handling on presentation server. We will take a file on our desktop, means presentation server. We will read the data from that particular file. This will be our first topic. So what we will do, we will firstly create a file on our desktop. The file will consist of two columns, suppose employee ID, employee name, and we will read that data from that particular file. Now, many times people are comfortable in putting that data into Excel and then they will copy into Notepad because you know, in case of Excel, to go from one column to another column, tab is already there. Suppose if I will open the Excel, suppose we'll go for two columns, employee ID, employee name. To go from one column to another column, we have the tab. It means tab is a separator between the two column values. Then whenever we will copy this data into Notepad, so that data will consist of tab automatically. But many times people will directly prepare a Notepad and they will put the tab as separator. They will manually put the tab. So they will, it's your wish how you want to prepare the file. Suppose I'll go for Excel way. I'm giving employee ID one. Suppose I will give some name. I will go for employee ID two. I will go for some name. I will go for employee ID three. I will go for some name. I will go for employee ID four. I will go for some name. I will go for employee ID five. I will go for some name. I will copy this data. Suppose I'm going for five records. I will open a notepad and I will paste there. And you can see in these five records, tab is automatically there. So there will be no confusion while reading that data. I will save this file on my desktop. Suppose name of the file is employee data. So my file is there. My file is there on my desktop or presentation server. Now what we will do, I will create a program in SAP and we will read the data from the file which is on our presentation server. So I will simply go to SC38 transaction code and we will create a program. Suppose I am saying this is our first program for file handling. And I will go for some serial number. I will click on to create button. We will give that description. Suppose to read the data from the file. I will choose the type as executable program. Save. I will save it as a local object. Now, what will be the input to this program? Input is the file which is on our presentation server. So what we will do, we all know if you want to take a input to the program, you can take through parameter or select option. I have a single file, single file on my desktop. So we will take a parameter for the file. Parameters. I will give some name to the parameter. Suppose P underscore file. 
and I will write type local file. Now, what is this local file? Local file is a SAP predefined data element. If I will double click, it has a domain of character 128. It means P underscore file is of character 128. I'll check the syntax and activate. I will simply, simply go to text element, selection text, and we will pass the description, input file. I will activate now. I will go to back button and I will run this. So my input is ready. Now what we will do? We will pass some F4 button here. I will pass some help button here. Whenever user will click on to help button, we will show our presentation server. Just understand what will be our requirement. I will pass some help button here. Whenever user will click on to help button, we will show our desktop. We will show our presentation server and user will select the file from the presentation server. In the real world, you also saw the same to same thing. Suppose you want to upload a document which is on your desktop. Whenever you are clicking on to upload button, it will show you a desktop and you are selecting the file from the desktop. Same thing we will do here. I will provide some F4 button here and on click of F4, we will show our presentation server or desktop and we will select the file from there. Now, we'll just go for recap. You all know very well, whenever you are performing a action on the screen, this is your selection screen. Whenever you are performing a action on the screen, at that time, at selection screen, event is calling. See, we are going for F4. It means it's the action on the screen. So we will go for the event at selection screen. And we all know F4 help is value request. So we'll just go for that event. So I will write at selection screen on value request you know value request is f4 help i will write p underscore file i will check the syntax and activate so you are going for add selection screen and you are going for value request for which particular parameter p underscore file value request means f4 help if i am running you can see this F4 button automatically coming. Now, previously this button was not there. Now, whenever you will click on to this F4 button on the selection screen, you are going for value request. So that particular event will call at selection screen. Now, we will simply, simply whenever user will click on to F4 button, we will show our presentation server and user will select the file. To achieve this requirement, SAP provided a function module. Now, what is the name of the function module? Name of the function module is F4 underscore file name. Now, what this function module will do? It will show you a desktop or your presentation server, whenever you will select the file, it will return the path of the file. It will return the full file name, full file path. I'll just show you how. So I will simply, simply use the function module. I will go to pattern. I will pass the function module F4 underscore file name. I will go for enter. Now I will simply uncomment the exporting. I will uncomment the importing. And in which particular parameter you will get your file name, P underscore file. 
we all know while returning it will always return from left to right i'll check the syntax and activate now whenever you will click on to this button on the selection screen you are going for value request so this particular event will call this will call this function module because this function module is the part of this event it will show you a presentation server you will select the file and you will get a full path of the file full name of the file i will show you i'm running we on this click add selection screen on value request event will call you can see it is showing our presentation server our file is on our desktop i will choose the file this is our file and whenever i will open you can see this is the full path of the file full c drive users desktop on the desktop i have this particular file so what we learned in this particular video we created one file on our presentation server we took a parameter for the file we called the event add selection screen on value request and we used the function module f4 underscore file name which returned the full path of the file in the next video we will read the data from this particular file so that's it in this video thank you